I don't care about Black History Month. And there's a reason why. I don't care about the gay rights stuff. I don't care. The reason why it's it's not like I don't support any of it. Go go ahead, do whatever you want. You know, I don't you know, I don't care. But everyone has rights. Everyone does. No matter who you are. Of course, it is a bit controversial because you have well, you have people that are criminals and you know and the thing is is yeah, you you did something wrong. Of course, you, you did something probably wrong. You probably killed someone. You don't know, you know, but your life still matters. You are one in an infinite amount of chances. One in infinite. Now, that's not right completely, but you know, it's it's close to being right cuz I did a whole entire thing about euthanasia. Look, you is it okay to do euthanasia or is it not? I did. Is it not? It is not okay to do euthanasia. And one of the statistics being that you are one in a trillion chances of being born. Now, with that said, every life matters. It doesn't matter about your skin tone, your race, your religion. It doesn't matter. You matter as much. Does that and now does that mean you're special? I mean, it kind of does. You're special in your own way. Does that mean you should be entitled to everything? That does not mean you should be entitled to everything. Because if you're entitled to everything, it's like, let's say it like this. So for any kids out there, for anyone, they've all been through, everyone's been through school. No matter who you are, you've at least been through school at least once in your life. Even if it was for one grade, you know, because you're like re legally required to. Well, let's say you get a failing grade, all right? And you've been studying and studying and studying, okay? You know, yeah. But the thing is, you've been having trouble. You were entitled to get an A. You were working towards an A. But you failed. So you have to try again. Let's say you never studied. You know. You never studied and you never did. You know, it doesn't matter. You failed the test. The next day... You go to your parents, or you go to the teacher, and be like, I should have gotten an A. Well, are you smart? Like, can you do a test without studying? Can you get the material before? Or is it because you just didn't study before? Well, it's because you didn't study. You didn't, like, you have trouble in class, but you didn't study. Now, of course, the people that work hard, and they don't need to study, that's fine. If you don't need to study... But you got the material. Feel free, don't, you know. But you were never entitled to anything. You were never entitled to anything. And I mean anything. If you are entitled to something, like, you're entitled to a new car. You bought the car, so you're entitled to get it. Yes, that makes sense. You know, economy-wise, you are entitled to get something. But, like, for a new job. You know, I don't have a job yet, by all means, I hope not to get one for a while, because, you know, I don't have a car or anything, and I want some point of doing that. But, if I were to get a job, I am not entitled to get a promotion a year after I've been working there. I am not entitled to get one. I will work towards one, I will work towards a promotion, I will work towards a better position in that job, but I am not entitled. And I'm using this word a lot. Because with the Black History Month and with the months that we have, for literally any kind of group of person, we are just singling out people and, for instance, let's do feminist. And not like the really nice feminists that believe like everyone should be equal. There's a, okay, there's a person named Daz Games that called it Feminazis. Now, I'm going to call it like that and they say that women should be equal, that they don't get good paychecks. Well, if you are in the workforce and you're not looking at the big picture, because I'm going to use my dad as an example. My dad, he is in, he works at a hospital. He isn't a surgeon, he isn't anything like that. He's, he, he works behind the hospital. He's, you know, he, he isn't in the front. He, 
is just there, you know, working to make sure that everything's correct, to make sure that construction's good, all that stuff. He isn't, you know, he's like, I, I, honestly, I don't remember what he is. There are women that are higher than him. There are women that are better than him in some way. But there's a problem to that. Pro there's probably, there's a problem. So, let's just go like this. A nurse gets hired, okay? Her first year gets hired, all right? She gets hired and it's the best job she's ever had. But then she gets a promotion. The thing is, is she's never worked towards that promotion. She doesn't know what to do. It's, it's a new promotion, she didn't know. So she messes everything up, but she keeps the job. Would you want a person, not just a woman, would you want a person to be messing up a job that could potentially kill someone? The reason why I bring this up is because we are in a society that we think, we think that we're bringing everyone together. We're not. We're bringing everyone apart. We're separating people into groups. We're separating people and thinking that we're entitled for something that we have. We are not entitled to anything. That's why when you do Black History Month, it's always good to learn about your Black History Month. Don't get me wrong. It's always good to learn about your history. Because history will repeat itself over and over again. But when you single out a whole month for that, you're just singling out the Blacks again. The blacks are not entitled to anything. The whites are not entitled. No one's entitled for anything. You must work towards it. And it may take years before you even get what you want. But you can't complain. You gotta keep going. And the reason why I bring this up is because everyone on social media, at least on TikTok, I've seen a couple of videos where there are people that are only liking black stuff. Who's to say, that's just, that is not right, okay? That is not right. The reason why is just singling everyone out. Okay, let's imagine this, all right? So, in the workforce or anything else, let's say a black person just says hi and does a horrible job, you know, at working. Another person, and I'm not putting race, religion, or anything, you know, not, I'll just say a woman, black, or whatever, or whatever we want to give more credit to. Whoever we give more credit to, and then this person that we don't, the race that usually doesn't get more credit, you know? That one right there, the one that's cre less credited, does the best job ever. But you know who gets all the credit? The one that did not do the most work. You, We need to see that the lazy ones... The ones that even probably want to do something but are, need help, the ones that need help, the ones that are lazy, they need more work on themselves. The lazy ones, I don't know about. I'm not saying anything about that, but I'm just, you know, I don't know about that. When it comes to people that work hard and know they're, in, they're not entitled to get that promotion. They're not entitled to get an A. They're not entitled to get something that they want. Those are the people you should worry about and care about. The people that don't care, who only barely do anything, is how it works. Now, this is just my thought. You have a different thought, that's completely fine. This is just how I feel and this is how it, I see perceive the world. There is no such thing as a good or bad person, as what we perceive. But in this day and age, what's bad right now is that we're singling everyone out. LGBTQ, blacks, whites, Hispanics, yes, that's who you are, but we don't have to put that in there. We're still racially thinking of ways. I mean, the adult male, not trans men, the adult male, the white adult male, is the most hated to majority of everyone. The adult human male. Of course, 
the ones that want to work hard, are definitely hated because they're better. Now, I'm not saying that. No, I'm not saying the racial stuff. But when you hear it that way, look at it a different point of view. I'm not saying that blacks can't work hard. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that if you were to look at someone that was way harder than you and like worked way harder, you would probably get jealous. Probably. Now, a little story. There was this one guy that was black, you know. He was the hardest worker. He did not want to be lazy. He didn't want to be like his forefathers. He didn't want to be like that. He didn't want to be a victim. So he got up and worked his tail off. He worked his butt off. He worked everything he could. You know what got what got him? He got higher than my dad. He got a higher position than my dad and he's smart. He was super smart and he probably got that promotion because he was black. And you know what? We shouldn't give the promotion just because of race, color, or religion, or literally anything. We should give it because they worked hard. Now, the reason all this is a thing and why this video is a thing is because people are in being an entitlement. They're being something that they cannot control. And I'm, I'm not saying, like, you're at fault here. Because with the new day and age, everyone says that we're special, that we, we are one of a kind, you know. When really, we're just a human race. Alright? You know, I honestly don't know many Bible verses, and I'm not a strong Christian, but I am a Christian. Um, God put us on this wor world, even though he split us apart, he made us equal. Even though we're struggling, we're still there. Now, if you're depressed, if you're hurting, if you're thinking you're the only one in the world, you are not. You are not alone. No one is alone. No one is. No one is entitled. No one is alone. No one is anything. They are what they put their mindset they set out to be. Alright? I want to make videos and I want to protect people. And with that being said, I love you all. Don't feel entitled. Don't feel like you're completely special. You are special, but you're not completely special. You're still human. Don't feel like you're a god, and that's all. I don't hate any of you. I don't dislike any of you. I love you all, and I mean that by the bottom of my heart. We just have a lot to learn, and we can't be snowflakes, because this world is filled with them, and we need to learn to stand up and just go with it. We don't need to be... You know, going <gasps> all the time. We just need to be ourselves and just be something. And that should be all for today. Bye, everyone.